let's look at another question on momentum in physics. The question says, a ball of mass, 6.0 kilogram, moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second, collides with a 20 kilogram ball moving in the opposite direction, right? Emphasis on in the opposite direction with a velocity of 5.0 meter per second. After collision, the two balls coalesce and move in the same direction. Calculate the velocity of the composite body. All right, let's get this done. Um, solution, as usual, our task is to list out given parameters. So what exactly or what and what parameters are we given in this question? Number one says a body of mass, six kilograms. All right, so we have a first body there. Let's call the mass of body one, M1, as equal to six kilograms. Okay, moving the said, moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. So number two, the velocity, the velocity of the first body is about, the said, 10 meter per second. That's U1 is 10 meter per second. Next of the said, collides with a 2.0 kilogram ball. So we have a second mass there as being equal to 2 kilogram or 2.0 kilogram. Proceeding, they said, in the opposite direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second, right? So I have that U2, the initial velocity of the second body is 5 meter per second. But notice that they said it is moving in the opposite direction. Now, whenever you hear opposite direction, it means you add a negative to the value. That becomes not just 5 meter per second, but minus 5 meter per second. So notice that if they said it is moving in opposite direction, the um, velocity becomes a negative, right? Moving in opposite direction. Okay, they said after collision, the two balls coalesce. When they say coalesce, it means they join together to become one, right? The two balls hit together, join together to become one, right? And they said, and moves in the same direction. Calculate the velocity of the composite body. That means so to find the final velocity, V is equal to unknown for the composite body. Again, this is a question on um, inelastic collision. For inelastic collision, your formula is M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 plus M2 and then V. You can note that a question is inelastic if the, if the two bodies move together with the same speed. That's how you know, right? When they say the bodies move together with the same speed, you know it's an inelastic collision, all right? All right. So with this, let's put in values. M1 is 6. 6 times U1 is 10. Plus M2 is 2 times U2 is minus 5. It's equal to... M1 is 6 plus M2 is 2 and then V. Let's put in values there. 6 times 10 is 60 plus 2 times minus 5 is minus 10 is equal to 6 plus 2 is 8 into V. All right, let's proceed. This gives you 60 plus minus is minus 10 is equal to 8 times V is 8v. 60 minus 10 gives you 50 is equal to 8v. To get the value of v, I'll divide both sides by 8. Divide this by 8. Divide this by 8. This cancels this. So I'm left with v. It means that v is equal to 50 over 8. Let's get this in terms of two decimals. I'll have that v is equal to, so 50 over 8, what do I have? Um, I have that 50 over 8. That gives about 6.25. 6.25. Velocity is measured in meter per second. So that becomes the answer to this question. All right. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. All right. So like the video, um, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn and also leave a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed this video. Thank you and see you in our next class.